So for today, we're gonna to be looking at Liar's Handshake. This exotic got asked for a lot, rightfully so. Our 3.0 just came out. So I will be making this video uh, first because I did get the Warlock exotic, which I will be making the video like literally right after this one. So hopefully by the end of today or tomorrow, I might have it out. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually on subscribe. So if you can do me a favor, subscribe, it really does help. For all the people who ask for Liar's Handshake, you, I deserve a, I deserve a subscription, dog. Hook me up. But other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, let's look at what it actually does. Cross counter, using your arc melee ability or being hit by a melee attack will allow you to follow up with an extremely powerful melee counter punch that will heal you. So... This is pretty self-explanatory. All you need to do is either get hit by a melee attack or use your arc melee ability. And then after you after you use the arc melee ability to kill something, your next punch will actually be the counter punch. So that's pretty much it. I don't really have to explain much to this. The only thing that I really have to make sure you know is that obviously we're gonna be pairing this with arc. That's a no brainer. The melee you're going to want to be using is combination blow this is the best one for it a quick strike that temporarily increases your melee damage when defeating a target stacking three times defeating targets with this ability also fully refills your class ability energy and restores a small amount of health so on top of the healing that the cross counter will give you finishing enemies with combination blow will also give you healing so it is really good for uh, for sustainability and once you kill something with your combination blow, you actually get your class ability back. So it, it synergizes really well with Liar's Handshake. The other thing you're gonna, I'm gonna be throwing you a lot of things right here. So just be aware. Lethal Current is gonna be the aspect you're gonna wanna use because after dodging your next melee attack has increased lunge range, jolts the target and creates a damaging after effect. Damaging any jolted target with melee attacks also blind them. That's really useful. Be aware that you can use this on in a lot of situations. The next one is flow state. Defeating a jolted target makes you amplified. While you are amplified, your dodge recharges more quickly, you are more resilient while dodging, and your reload speed is greatly increased. So obviously these two are gonna pair well with Liar's Handshake with combination blow as well because you're all gonna you're gonna be doing so many things at once but for the fragments themselves i decided to go with a few things that i think would be helpful for me so for the first fragment we're going to be talking about spark of resistance this one is a no-brainer while surrounded by combatants you are more resistant to incoming damage and you get a plus 10 in strength which is nice i guess this one's self-explanatory you get more dr when you are surrounded and because you are using a melee focused exotic it makes sense that you're gonna put this on the next one is spark of discharge arc weapon final blows have a chance to create an ionic trace this one's nice when i'm out of ability or i just want to kill stuff my ionic trace will give me more ability energy which is really nice uh spark of vaults finishers make you amplified this one's a no-brainer i want to be amplified as much as possible so i can get the benefits of being amplified and spark of shock your your arc grenade jolts targets i also want to jolt enemies as well so for grenade i would probably put something that has the widest range but without killing enemies so that way i can jolt as many enemies as i can that's the build I have so far. I probably will tweak it in the future, but let me know what you guys think. What are you guys going to be using? Obviously, I didn't even mention it, but Blink is obviously going to be put in there as well because I love Blink. But for for the dodge specifically, you make sure you have Gambler's Dodge on. It doesn't matter that the base cooldown is longer because you'll be killing stuff with your melee, which will be getting your dodge back immediately, which means you can do it it synergizes really well is what i'm trying to say so that's pretty much it i didn't want to get into it too much because this is an old exotic but let me know what you guys are going to be using in the future or right now what is your current build i would love to know but as for the fashion because i know a lot of people want the fashion aspect of this let's look at how it actually looks base look liar's handshake to me is not the best in my opinion i think it's very lacking and you guys will see that I actually have two pictures of them because one side is actually very noticeable, like very different. So for the left side, the base look of the left arm, you have this like dagger on the actual hand, which is also on the other hand. 
and you have like a really long snake just covering the whole arm and the head is actually on the shoulder the other side does have a snake but at the forearm you actually see that it has it is actually ripped off which is the whole forearm which is kind of unfortunate because it does make the whole set look a lot more ugly and you also have the shoulder piece that's like a complete actual armor piece as for how it actually shaders it actually shaders exactly how you expect it to shader it's not the best it looks very decrepit very like it's been worn out heavily even like some of the best shaders in the game like sato tribe or echo dango personally just do not look good with it i think the base look of this is just absolutely terrible when it comes to taking shaders and the set itself is just not the greatest to be quite honest as for the example set i went in with a derelict look because obviously the base look of the liar's handshake just looks that way as you guys can see from the left arm it's actually like missing a whole forearm of design because for some i don't know like maybe it's been used so much i don't know so for the helmet we're using the new helmet from this season which is the catch killers mask i think it looks really cool my only gripe is the eye like uh, graphic on the right side i wish it was either on both sides or none at all because asymmetry does really bug me but i do understand why they did it because it's uh like co not contradicting but it's like a parallel to the season pass armor because on that side of the eye there's an eye patch so i get it but at the same time i wish it wasn't there for the arms obviously we're using base look of liar's handshake i think it looks fine here i think it actually looks pretty cool because it it matches how derelict like the chess piece looked, which is the scorched hunter vest. This is from the red war and some of the actually uh, year one and two of solstice. I don't think it, this is available anymore, but I wanted to have something derelict on my chess piece because the chess piece would, is going to be the easiest place to actually see that for the boots. We're using the iron forerunner strides because I like the the gringiness of it it looks like something uh someone like that has been through shit would wear because it just looks like a lot of like stuff that they've been putting on over the years and then for the cloak we're using canis luna cloak just because of the fur i like how it kind of makes everything look like it's derelict and also at the end of the cloak it's like ragged as fuck which is also really helping uh, overall i do like this look i really really wish the scorched hunter vest came back because i know a few people would love to use this set because the set is really cool and i do apologize that you guys can see the green check mark thing on the actual picture but i did not i was not in the mood to actually unlock this because i i never use this chest piece and i didn't want to use it i didn't want to use one of my material just to unlock a chest piece that i'll never use so let me know what you guys think about the base look for the first look. I definitely do like it and I surprise myself because again, I will actually fuck with that set, but yeah, let me know. For the first ornament we're gonna be looking at is Thalia's Reach. I think this is the premium ornament, like the best ornament for this look, uh, especially if you wanna retain the snake feel of it, then this is gonna be the best one. Although the, the second one, is way better for the snake but this looks a lot better because it's a lot more uh versatile compared to the other one you'll see in what i'm talking about as you guys can see from the left arm you guys can see that it's very ornamental like it has an actual really cool shoulder piece compared to the other side where it's just a snake head again but i do like that both sides have the same amount of cloth on the arms and the forearms. It's not cut off like the base ornament. It looks good and I love it. It's one of my favorites. It's actually the one I use the most, if not just that's the look I always use. Uh, as for how it shaders, this is where it kind of can get in a negative zone for some people because the arms actually do switch out shaders sometimes. You guys will see in the, in the example set because it's very noticeable in that one, but for the shaders we have currently echoed anger it has both arms red which is really cool Bissonian gold also has both both sides black and then sato tribe also has both sides that color as well the thing you have to realize is some shaders will actually have both sides different shaders different colors so just be aware of that i know the shaders choice that i chose are not good examples but i promise you some shaders will change them out like the example set which let's just get into right now so as you guys can see, Iron Strength is actually 
giving the left arm a red and the right side a green. But I think I made it look really nice because the chest piece we're using is the Solstice Vest Majestic, which has a top top part that's red and then the bottom part is green. And I like how like the arms and the chest looks really good together. I don't know how to explain it, but my brain really likes it. For the helmet, we're using the Way Lauren's mask, Iron Mask, because I wanted to go with a night look for this set. I always have a night look for my Thalia's Reach specifically. For the boots, we're using the Nemean Strides. I like the Nemean Strides a lot more, but you can use other pieces as well. You can use the Virtue set, I think it's called, from Season of Dawn, the specifically either the Season Pass armor or the Seasonal armor. Either or is going to look good with it. Uh, you can use the Nemean set for a bunch of this as well because a lot of it is really good. I, st I stick to more uh, ornamental look when I pair the Way Lauren's Iron Mask just because I, I like the look of it. And then for the cloak, we're using the Mantle Ephrodite. This is the only piece that I think you can switch out and it probably would look better because my only issue with Mantle of FRD and the other one is the fact that the hood is very small. It's so small and it makes the helmet look really weird. So that's like my only gripe with Mantle of FRD. And one day I hope to God that Bungie gives us the option to put our hood down because then I would use this at like a thousand percent. Also be aware that the cloak that I'm wearing, the mantle of every D is specifically the one that has the black fur. The one that has the white fur is the iron truage suit. So I'm just letting you know, because both of them have different colors for the fur. Other than that, everything is literally the same. Let me know what you guys think about this example set. This is literally my favorite example set that I've made for this look. I mean, it's not even an example set. This is literally my look for my for my Thalia's reach. Like I always have this on standby. It's always going to have the way Lauren's iron mask because I love that that chest or the helmet and literally everything else usually changes. Uh, the chest piece, I usually switch out with some other stuff. The Neiman Hunter Strides uh, also switch out for other stuff as well. And then Mantle Life 3D, I would usually switch it out as well with other stuff. So the helmet and the arms are usually the only pieces that will stay. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. And let's get down to the last ornament, which is the Charmed, I'm sure, ornament. So the last one had the snake design, which is really cool. This has literal cobras on the shoulder pads for both sides. The reason I didn't have the other side here is because both of them are symmetrical. So you don't have to worry about, oh, this side is different than the other. This, but this is symmetrical as fuck, which is really good. Uh, as for the shader situation, it shaders really well. My only gripe is that the white on the, the inner like design does not change color like the square stuff. It doesn't change color from what I've noticed but it's such a small change or it's such a small design that I really don't mind it because white is easily to, I can easily ignore white. So yeah, I personally love how it shaders. It looks really good with shaders, take shaders really well. But as for the example set, this one kind of surprised me. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So for this one, we're using the shadows mask helmet because I, I leaned into Egyptian mummy undead type thing and what I came up with I just think looks amazing so shadows mask for the helmet because it looks kind of like mummy-ish to me for the chest piece we're using the pyric ascent vest which is from Charles of Osiris the atavastic idol strides which is also from Charles of Osiris and then cloak of the exile which again trials of this also uh, trials of Osiris I really like this combination I, the only reason I'm using Regal Daring with, for this is because in uh, Egyptian like custom, I guess you would say, the royalty of that time would wear gold and specifically pyric red or something. I don't remember what the actual name of the, sh of the color is, but they used a red purple color as royal, like a royal color. And... Regal Daring is just the closest uh, to that shader or color that I came up with. And I really like it. Uh, obviously, there's other shaders that would pair a lot better than this because personally, I really like when the Py Pyric uh, Ascent Vest and the Atavastic Idol Strides, when the uh, like the cloth matches colors because it looks even better. But I wanted to have that like red because I want 
this look to be like oh shit this is like royalty this is like someone who who is royal i don't know that's just how my head kind of went because when it comes to stuff like this where i'm going for an egyptian theme i want to make sure the colors are right because colors are very important in culture like specifically for example mayans uh used a lot of colors to signify certain things like black was if i remember correctly black was the color of death and whatnot so i really wanted to make sure i had the right colors for this and i really like it i really like how it came out might be my favorite uh, outside from the actual favorite because that's the one i actually use but my only reason why i don't i don't think i would ever use this is because a lot of the pieces in this i would have to get from the uh not collections but the transmog system and i don't know if i like cloak of the exile that much to get it because the gold on the on the cloak of the exile is forever like it does not change color so that gold is going to be there forever although atavastic idol strides look really cool and i don't mind the asymmetry at, like as much and the pyrrhic ascent vest also is cool enough that i don't mind it at all but i would only use this set for like rare i would rarely ever use these sets is what i'm trying to say so that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys like the video again comment down below let me know what you guys are you going to be using specifically like what are you guys going to be using for a build what are you guys going to be doing for fashion i would really love to see that uh hit me up on twitter show me your pictures because i would love to see it but yeah next up will be like i said the warlock the new exotic for the warlock it's so much fun i've been having a blast with it uh i will be attempting world first for tomorrow which is gonna be wild i'm very excited for it but i know it's gonna be a pain but yeah let me know what you guys think uh, if you guys want to follow me again links are in the description below thank you all for coming to this point and i'll see you guys later